morning everyone what is up welcome back to my channel and welcome to another moving vlog we are on a roll with these i think this is moving vlog number four so we are now on week two in the new house if you guys are not caught up yet i recently moved from a little studio apartment into a little bit of a bigger space i'm now in a two-bedroom apartment still in busan didn't really move very far away from where i was before but i definitely do feel like i'm living in a new area which has just overall been so much fun if you didn't get the chance to see it the last vlog pretty much last week we focused on unpacking getting the house organized and just turning it into a livable space and now for week two i want to focus on the little details i want to do some more decorating get our bedding figured out and just make the place overall a little more cozier this week also in this video i'm going to be asking you guys to help vote for something very very important i'm pretty much going to let you guys decide which piece of furniture i get for my living room so definitely stay tuned for that later on side note this coffee is so good i don't know why but i've been adding a little bit of whipped cream to my coffee every morning and i know that it's not the healthiest thing but it just puts me in such a fun mood they don't really have coffee creamer or like cold foam here in korea so doing something like that is pretty much the best i can do to like level up my coffee anyways i just woke up not too long ago so i'm about to actually take cleo on our little morning walk and guys the cherry blossoms have bloomed it is beautiful so i think i'm going to take you guys with me on the walk just so that we can appreciate the beauty of the cherry blossoms together and then later on this morning it's looking like our bed is finally going to get delivered i'm so excited it looks like it's out for delivery right now also one more thing i was reading my comments this morning on some of my recent vlogs and it looks like there are some new subscribers new faces here and i just wanted to say hi if you're new thank you so much for taking the time to check out my channel and to subscribe and also of course to my og subscribers y'all mean the world to me and i just wanted to say if you're new here welcome welcome to our fest I'm gonna try to be uploading two times a week for the next several months on Sunday and then probably Wednesday So if you enjoyed my vlogs, definitely turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload And I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who tunes in every week to watch my vlogs It literally means the world. But yeah, so excited for what's to come today I am really looking forward to just getting this place more like detailed up adding some cute little touches And as always if you guys have suggestions feel free to leave them below you always have such good ideas from me and I love hearing from you. Anyways, let's go ahead and get Cleo. I think she's sleeping in the bed right now because she's not in here. Let's grab her, go for a morning walk. I am so excited to show you guys how beautiful it is outside right now. Oh my goodness, we have a bed. You guys know I've been waiting for this damn bed for weeks now and it finally arrived. So that's a relief that I can finally start filling up these little drawers. And then also under the actual mattress is a whole other little area that I'm able to open up. So I'm gonna just take the mattress back off. I just wanted to put it on for a moment just to kind of get an idea of how high the bed would be, but super happy that it finally arrived. As you can see, it has three drawers. If you're curious about the price, I got a really good deal. This was literally like 130, a thousand won just for the frame, which is like a hundred bucks. Not gonna lie, I was really wanting something more aesthetic, like some kind of like cloud um, frame, you know, like a little cloud platform. But the only problem was they only came in queen size and believe it or not, double versus queen in this small of a bedroom makes such a difference, guys. So this is a double size bed. Um, which is honestly perfect. You can see it just like fits perfectly in the space. But if we were to have gotten a queen, it would have came out quite a bit more this way and this way. So I'm very glad that we just stayed with the double size. However, with double size beds here, they only have like a few different kinds of frames. So this is the one we went with. So this is the other storage I was talking about. Basically this entire thing lifts up and more stuff can be kept under here besides those drawers. So I'm gonna start by filling this part up, just put our winter padding under here and maybe some of our summer stuff.
how much I was able to store under there, like all the winter and summer clothes. Unfortunately, it's really not summer weather in Korea until mid-May, so it's just gonna stay under there until then. But very, very happy I picked the practical style bed. As much as I would have really wanted to have like the beautiful cloud, aesthetic looking bed, I feel like when you have very small rooms like this, you just need to pick what's practical so yay for that and now it is time to finally put together some of the bedding that i recently ordered i have a quick question for any of you guys who have lived abroad do you ever feel like you just miss your home country's bedding because that is how i have felt for the past four plus years and it didn't dawn on me until literally a couple months ago that i can just order us bedding to korea with amazon obviously when i say this i am not trying to offend anyone i'm not saying one country is right or wrong but i have just never felt drawn to korean style bedding a lot of it is either like super thick quilted style that has like heaters attached to it or some of it will sometimes be like a sear stuffer kind of material and they look nice like they look very good in the windows but for me it is just not cozy enough my style is very much like soft cotton a lot of throw pillows back in college i had these really big square pillows at the back of my bed kind of as a headboard and i have so badly been wanting to find those in korea and i've never been able to like i can't find any pillows any square pillows that are bigger than like this size so i went on amazon and i was able to find some of these 24 by 24 inch pillows they also had 26 by 26 but i measured my bed and these ones just made more sense and then i also got some of these really cute pillow covers that i just finished washing yesterday so i can finally put everything on even after washing these just feel so soft and this is exactly what i was going for so i'm really excited to get all of this on it'll be my first time seeing it all come together and then i also did order just some new pillows and those i did order from a korean website just because i don't really care that much about the actual pillow but i'm so glad that amazon ships to korea and it's not even that much more expensive i think it was like eight or nine bucks for shipping and it arrives really fast like usually if i order on amazon my stuff will be here within like four or five days oh yeah oh yeah you know exactly what's up huh Okay, I am so happy with the way this turned out. I was a little bit worried because these are two different shades of ivory, but I kind of just like the contrast of all the different shades. And then I put on this older waffle blanket that I've already had, so no need to buy a new one, probably in the summer when I'm ready to like switch up my room. But yeah, overall, I am so happy. It feels so much cozier in here. Cleo is loving it. Hi. In case you guys are wondering what our dinners look like these days, pretty much just like this. We got some kimchi chicken. And of course, Love Island because it wouldn't be dinner without reality TV. <laughs> you hungry too? As much as we really wanted to like this one, we're gonna send it back. We actually did have it 
tucked under the couch um, and then we pulled it out to try to steam it. The creases take some time to come out, but we just, well, I don't mind it, but my boyfriend wasn't 100% about it and I wanna make sure that we are super in love with everything we bring into this house. So we are actually gonna send this one back, but I still thought I would just show you how it looked. I think what is kind of tripping us up is we're just not obsessed with the little um, speckle. I thought it would be nice because I was worried about clashing a bunch of like solid creams and ivories, but I went ahead and went online and we're gonna send it back. And instead I ordered this one. This is one of the review photos. So this one looks more soft. The reason that I didn't go for a soft one in the first place is because it's hard to find waterproof soft rugs. This one is not soft at all, but it's very waterproof and we did test it and it worked well. However, obviously we wanna make sure we're feeling cozy and cute. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I ordered this one. It's gonna come hopefully like tomorrow early afternoon and we will see how it looks. Good morning, everyone. I am currently getting ready to go to a morning workout, but I checked the app just now and I'm the only person. And usually it's minimum two people, so I don't know if she's gonna call and cancel or if I should, I guess I'm just still going because I haven't heard from her. So I just thought that was funny. It's literally one person in the class. I'm so glad though, because at this new house, I am still a perfect distance away from the studio that I've been going to since early fall. It's like a combination of bar, Pilates. We also do like light weightlifting there and I just love it. And I was really hoping to move somewhere that I wouldn't have to change studios and I haven't had to. So that's amazing. I'm not able to really walk there anymore unless I want to walk like 25 minutes, but with a bus, it literally takes like five minutes and the buses run super regularly. So that's a good feeling. Honestly, don't love eating before a morning workout just because I'm never super hungry i'm just gonna have a quick banana honey <laughs> anyways i'm excited for today the weather is beautiful i'm really hoping oh, my banana just broke it up i've got some stuff coming in the mail for the house which is fun i also wanted to say thank you so so much for all the support on my recent videos as you guys know the youtube algorithm likes to play games with me and i always lose those games but it seems like right now the algorithm is actually helping. So I just want to say thank you so much for all your engagement. It makes me so happy to wake up and see new comments. Anyways, okay. I'm going to drink my water, get a jacket on, and I will see you guys in a little bit. back from our workout i showered ate did all the things and i literally just got a delivery which is the new rug i'm so happy it came so quickly huge shout out to Kupong because so much stuff on there you can literally just get the next day so we're gonna set this up i'm honestly really nervous i really hope i like it if it's not the one that's okay we can just keep looking for more fingers crossed and i also got this in the mail very random but it's just like a little recycling bin we've been keeping our recycling just in like a random bag over there and i just wanted something a little more discreet but i had to get something that would be like washable you know so this was as cute as i could get it let me just get this set up real quick my boyfriend is currently out and i'm too impatient to wait for his help for when he gets back so i'm just gonna attempt to do this myself Okay. Oh, this one definitely looks softer. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's much softer than the last one. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I am very satisfied, very happy with the vibe of this rug. It's not only softer, but I just feel like the color is better. It feels brighter. As I said yesterday, I was worried about the clashing of all the 
white and cream tones in here, but I really do think it goes pretty well. The only thing I'm just feeling a little bit worried about is the Cleo peeing situation. As I told you guys, she likes to do like a little nervous pee once in a while. It's only when I leave the house and she knows how to use pee pads. So I'm just really hoping that we can keep this rug looking nice, but I'm definitely gonna go online and find some kind of good spot cleaner for it just because I do feel like this is the type of rug that is bound to get dirty. But the good thing is it's machine washable. So I can just throw it in the wash machine if I need to, but overall very happy. Oh, look who just came out. Oh, hey. Anything different? Oh, okay. So now that we have this rug, I feel like the only thing really missing from this space besides the decor for up there is a coffee table. And I went online last night and I pretty much lowered it down to five or six different ones. I have a specific style in mind, but honestly, guys, I cannot decide which one to order. So I thought, why not ask you to vote? So if you like any of these, I am begging you to please, please comment below. Let me know which one you think I should get. What would go best with the space? I'm going to wait until this video goes up. I'm going to check the votes and then I will see what everyone thinks and then I will order it. So you guys will see the one that I end up getting in the next moving video. Okay, so starting off with option A. This one is, I think, the most expensive out of all of them. It has a lighter wood tone bottom and then a marble top. And this is kind of the overall style that I'm going for. I really like the circular look with like the little barrel on the bottom. I just think it's really cute and it's different. Here is option B. Once again, just another variation. This one is basically the same price as the last one. These two are the most expensive. And I think this is the biggest out of all of them. Option C, this is the smallest and the cheapest out of all of them. This is just like a cute little side table. It would be really easy to move around the house if we had to. Option D is from that same line. It's just kind of a different design of that table. It has the bigger tabletop, which I guess is more practical. Option D is white on white. So it has the white white tabletop and then a white barrel on the bottom and I feel like the price of this one is actually pretty good for what you're getting and then finally option E has the marble top and then just like a full barrel bottom I know these are all so so similar but that's what makes it so hard because I feel like I just really don't know which one so please let me know which option would you get just taking everything into account so let me know i'll check your votes and then in the next vlog i will show you guys which one i end up getting anyways i was not actually planning on doing this today but i think i'm gonna go to the department store and i want to go into a couple of their home decor stores there's not really that many in there but it has been so long since I just window shopped and browsed actual stores for home inspo. I'm always looking online and that's fun too, but I'm honestly just tired of looking at my screen. So we're going to get up, go out. We're going to Shinsuge here in Busan. Fun fact, it's actually the world's biggest department store and I dread going there. I only go there like two or three times a year. It's just kind of chaotic and I feel like you can't just go there for like an hour. Like once you go, you're in there for like two to three hours. But I feel like it was very fitting to go for this video just because I really do need some home decor inspo. Yeah, if you guys are ever in Busan, you have to make it to Shinsuke. It's literally giant and it's also right next to Lotte department store. I feel like the word department store is a very Korean word because in America you just say mall. It's basically two malls that are next to each other. on this it says hotel towel i guess it's a bit bigger but it's still still pretty thin okay so i know i said i wasn't planning on buying anything 
but I could not not get the bedding that I saw at Muji. So I'm really excited to go home, wash these, get them on my bed, and before I do that, I'm just gonna stop at like the international market here, just for nostalgic purposes. <laughs> Okay, I really, really did not think I was gonna get anything at the mall, but when I walked into Muji and I saw their bedding, I could not, not leave without it because it was everything I've been looking for. So a long time ago, I had this style bedding. It's like that really nice linen material. Price was so good. This was 60,000 won for a duvet cover, which in my opinion is not bad at all. And they also had tons of different sizes. So I was able to get an actual double size cover which was great so i grabbed this so so excited to put this on my bed i have been wanting a new duvet cover because the one i have right now is like two years old it's got some stains that won't come out in the wash so i'm just thrilled to finally have a new cover i feel like this was very meant to be i just kind of stumbled upon it and then i also got the two matching pillowcases and these were dirt cheap like seven bucks each so good and then finally i've also been wanting just a new set of kitchen cloths kitchen towels just to wipe my hands with and these ones looked pretty perfect so very successful mall trip even though i wasn't planning on getting anything i cannot wait to have these on my bed so i'm going to go ahead and wash them if you guys didn't know i actually don't have a dryer it's really not common to have a drying machine in korea most people just hang dry their stuff but what i do now is i will just wash my stuff and then i'll bring it to a laundromat to get it dried it's just a lot quicker and a lot of times when you let your stuff air dry i feel like it comes out smelling weird or like i don't know it just never comes out the same as a dryer so i'm going to go ahead and use my washer and then we'll bring these over later to the laundromat goodness i love how these new sheets look I, i'm sure you guys probably can't even tell much of a difference on camera it just looks and feels a lot more clean pristine it's always nice just when you get new sheets after having the same ones for a couple of years so happy with the way this turned out i do think maybe i need a toss pillow just to kind of finish off the bedding as i said at the beginning of this video if you guys have any um, recommendations do let me know and the bed is not all the way in the corner we kind of have it just a little bit more out but this is pretty much as far out as we can get it because we are going to be adding a little dresser here eventually when i came back from doing my laundry i was super surprised because i actually got one more package i really did not think this was going to arrive today because i ordered it just like a day or two ago from a furniture website but i got a nightstand if there's one thing i really want to steer away from on my channel it's promoting hyper consumerism. I really don't want to come across as that type of person that is always trying to buy the next best thing or like constantly spending money because that's not my vibe at all. But um, I really did just kind of have to get a couple things for my house. So please excuse all the buying in this video. If you are moving, I would really recommend going on Facebook Marketplace. Just going to some kind of like secondhand store and checking out what furniture they have there because it will obviously probably save you money to buy stuff secondhand. I did manage to get my fridge and my washer secondhand, which I was very happy about. I personally love it. It's super different from any nightstand I've ever owned. I typically go for just like the wooden square nightstands, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Another reason why I went with this one is because it doubles as storage, so I can keep anything in here really, like bags, electronics, and then also once I get my dresser, if I ever want to sit at my dresser and like do my makeup or something like that, this can double as a little stool so super multi-purpose functional i'll probably end up getting a little tray on here just so i can comfortably put like a glass of water on here or a candle 
It is much later on in the evening now. I was actually getting ready to do a fun little DIY lighting project with you. I feel like this video had a lot of unboxing and stuff like that in here, but I want to do more DIYs for sure. And this was going to be a really fun start. But I went and I saw how long this video already is and we're pushing like 30 minutes. So I think I'm going to save this for the next moving vlog. It's a really fun project that I'm so excited to show you guys. I think this is a good spot to wrap up this fourth moving vlog. I had a lot of fun sharing everything with you. Getting the bed set up, getting through the little rug debacle we had there for a second, our new bedding, taking you guys to the mall. It was a lot of fun. Oh, this is right behind me. The list still goes on though. There are quite a lot of things that I still have to do, which you guys will see me do in the future videos. I'm gonna put up curtains. We're gonna get more color put in this house. I wanna get some wall art. I'm thinking two big panels for like above the sofa would be a really nice centerpiece for this room. If you guys have ideas, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. It has been so much fun sharing this next chapter of my life with you. And as I said at the beginning, thank you so much for all the support on my recent videos. If you are not caught up, I have a whole playlist, a little moving playlist. You can check that out and you'll see all my recent videos on there. There's definitely going to be plenty more moving content on this channel, but also I think I'm going to start filming a week in my life video from this upcoming Monday because I have a pretty busy work week ahead so I thought that would be fun to share with you guys so be on the lookout for that but that's about it for this video I love you so so much and I'll see you very soon in the next one bye bye Mwah.